system. So let's open the terminal inside the folder where we have the files where we did the pre-processing steps. If you have followed the PDF companion from these videos, and let's open MB Edit. So this is the 2D editor and we have the possibility of working with a single file or working with several single files. I can explain that. The, pr the, the, the philosophy of this tool is that you always open just single files. So you can work on a way that you go here, open and you select a single file and you go and then you process the file and then you go to the next file one by one or you can just simply open the data list so the list of files and here I have the file uh, 000 and if I go here to file select selection list I can see the, all the files that are contained inside the, this because my path is quite um, long uh, it's a bit hard but if I increase a little bit you can see that I have several files, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and so on. And so we are editing the first first one. So <clears throat> what what we see we see here is that we see first of all we see the pinks. So here are the pinks representing um, so and we have the individual soundings because of the let's say. Um, scale we don't see the individual soundings but we can also go here in the across track width and uh, in, uh, decrease it so that we start off you know sh uh, stretching the the pinks and then at a certain point we finally start to see the individual sounding so he here they are unfortunately there is not there is there is no um, you know scroll bar here so that you can just go to one side or go to the other side so you have to work with the center part or you have to work with the whole pin like I'm doing right now so once you have uh, familiarized yourself with the across width you also have the vertex exaggeration so sometimes to make um, problems like here the center bean interaction more evident you have to put more exaggeration not too much because otherwise the data looks pretty ugly when the data is totally okay and so I normally use something like two and a half but that's my taste well the other thing is that you have here pings to show and pings to step normally the pings to show has to be a bigger number than pings to step otherwise you go ahead more pings than you actually see so if I would go 15 pings ahead that would mean that I see 10 and I jump 15 so there are 5 pings that I will never see so that makes totally no sense so you have to go to the same number or to a number uh, smaller than pings to show what I normally do is that I put something around 20 or 40 pings and then I go about 30 pings ahead. So I always keep a sort of buffer where I saw how I process the data and how I clean up some uh, problems and then so I always have a sort of scale for how should I clean this and uh, which things I have done before so that's pretty uh, interesting so if I would say if I would now erase this outer beans here with the erase it's like a interactive so you can actually if you want you can uh, if you think okay this is a bad part I, you can destroy the data because I, I I clean up a lot of data that was good just because of that spike and then I go here restore and what I ha can do for instance is that I can go to the tog and then I can say okay I get this guy out another possibility is with the grab so I can grab a certain area and delete it so now when I press forward I will jump 30 pings instead of 40 so 
So I keep 10 pings. And this is important because then you can actually, you know, see, okay, I I was cutting up to this. And then I want to keep this kind of um, pattern. So if I want to keep the pattern and, and, and actually, you know, have a certain um, ways or style of cleaning, you have to, to, to imagine this, uh, these things. So here we have this pretty nasty center bin interaction. It's not that nasty, it's just look nasty because um, you know the rest of the data is extremely good. So if I would like, for example, to delete this part, I could, for example, go with the grab and then, well, I would mess up with, with the data a lot if I would do this. So I won't do that. So what I can do, for instance, is that, um, I can go here and view a long track, so I just view the center part. It's this is uh, so I'm stacking all the pings at once, and then it's uh, I, I stacked 40 pings in, in in a sort of line. Of course, if the if the depth as as we see here, if if this is going up slope or down slope, they won't be stacked exactly at the same point because they are uh, at slightly different depths so you have to keep this in mind so if i would go to clean up this uh, center bean interactions i would go probably for i don't know 15 pings and 20 pings and then i can have a much better um, idea and i can be much more precise so then i go here and i kind of flag these guys and then if I go back to the waterfall and you see oh, I could do a, a better job so if I go with less pings so like 10 and I show I don't know 15 and then I go back to the along track and then I kind of delete the whole thing here and then I go back and say okay now I, I got them so what you have to keep in mind is that the 2D editor can do pretty chirurgical and very fine um, cleaning, but it's also a, l a lot more time consuming. And what we have done here is just the very basics. And I will stop this video now and then I will do a second one where I explain a little bit more of the tools and, and the filters and then we go on for the next tools.